The fight for animal rights. All animals are equal and have the same rights to existence. These words are the main ideas of the animal rights movement, also known as the animal liberation movement. This current of thinking began many years ago with specific laws for some animals used for heavy work. In 1822 the law on the cruel treatment of cattle was decreed in England, and from there began to spread to other countries and other areas where then became possible punishing owners who mistreated their animals. By 1824, new animal protection groups emerged in some European countries, Australia and North America. Later, in the 1960s, intellectuals at the University of Oxford laid the foundations for what would be the modern movement to protect wildlife. In 1970, the psychologist Richard Ryder created the term speciesism, which refers to the discrimination based on the different animal species. This controversial contribution, plus his investigations and the creation of legal defenses against animal abuse, made him a prominent spokesman for the cause. Proponents of these protection laws share the same view, which is to consider animals as non-human people, who must live in freedom and not be used for food, clothing, scientific experiments or entertainment. This is the case of circuses, aquariums, textile companies and food industries, which sometimes have received severe sanctions and even permanent closures due to the mistreatment of animals, or having them in precarious facilities that cause them further suffering. Although there are many animal organizations, the world-renowned PETA, Sea Shepherd and Greenpeace defend the rights for terrestrial and aquatic animals or any wildlife, anywhere in the world. One of their famous battles is the one ongoing against whalers. In Norway, Iceland and Japan mainly, the hunting of these cetaceans continue increasing regardless it was prohibited since 1982. Whale protection includes chasing large fishing vessels with small boats deterring them from catching these cetaceans. The enraged crew of these ships has threatened the lives of the defenders and asked for their imprisonment. Another case is that of polar bears and their protection against oil companies wishing to enter the Arctic for oil extraction. As oil industry do not guarantee a 100% environmental security, an accident would be devastating and irreversible for biodiversity, not only in that area but around the Earth. An active campaign that includes recognized figures of the sport and the entertainment is the one related to the rejection of garments made with animal skins. Even today, with a boom in conservation groups, increased veganism in society and greater environmental awareness, these factories that make apparel and accessories with coats that come from animals still exist. It is worth mentioning that veganism is a permanent practice that rejects the consumption and use of any product of animal origin. We must also mention the numerous cases of abuse in circuses, aquariums, zoos and amusement parks where employees and trainers have been discovered using sticks covered with barbed wire or using whips to submit and force animals to perform acts that are against their natural behavior. In the same way, the meat industry worldwide has had to regulate its processes of bovine, porcine and poultry production mainly, because of the degree of cruelty that they formerly used to kill millions of animals each year. It is not just a trend or anarchic protests that seek to create social disruption, the fight for animal rights is a collective opposition from conscious people with the goal of eradicating violence towards animals and find solutions where they and humans can live together in an environment of peace and respect. Follow us in the social networks. Twitter. Facebook. YouTube. Pinterest. Google Plus. SoundCloud and others. For more information visit bioexpedition.com.